Hello everyone, the topic of this video tutorial is about how to report a prediction from QSAR model in the toolbox. QSAR toolbox is a decision support system that allows to search for experimental data, group substances into categories based on common functional groups or mechanistic similarity, predict substance properties based on data gap filling techniques or by applying QSAR models and much more. Once a substance has been predicted by either read-across, trend analysis, or QSAR modeling, the predicted result can be exported or reported along with details about the prediction. Generation of report is possible in the report section of the workflow where there are two main groups with functionalities, report and export the data. In case you are interested in the export of data, please watch the corresponding video tutorial. There are different reporting templates depending on the information we need to report. The aim of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to create a prediction report for a prediction from a QSAR model. In the latest QSAR Toolbox v.4.7 the report templates have been modified to follow the recommendations of the OECD QSAR Assessment Framework, QAF. Let's get started with the example. Add the chemical with CAS number 589-66-2. We will predict acute aquatic toxicity to Daphnia by one of the Danish EPA models. For this purpose, we need to go to data gap filling and position on the aquatic toxicity level. In the left panel we see the number of models associated with aquatic toxicity. Click on the QSAR icon. A dialog appears with the endpoint tree levels, where the aquatic toxicity row is already selected because we selected this position in the data matrix. This number indicates how many models are associated with aquatic toxicity. Click OK. Now, a table appears where the 38 acute aquatic toxicity models are summarized. This table contains general information about the models such as the name of the model, the endpoint, the effect, duration, presence of QMRF, statistical metrics, and others. We are interested in Danish EPA model for Daphnia and to find it, we can use the filter functionality. In the column with QSAR names, use the filter in text Daphnia in the field, wait for the models to be filtered and confirm. Now we see in the table all models that are associated with aquatic toxicity to Daphnia. Select the checkbox of the model Daphnia Magna 48 HEC 50 Danish XR DB Leadscope model. Apply right click on the selected row and open the QMRF documentation. The documentation contains detailed information related to the endpoint, domain, descriptors, and others. This information will be used later to fill out sections of the report associated with QAF elements. Let us predict the selected chemical by clicking on the corresponding button. We have to accept the license agreement. The prediction appears on the data matrix associated with effect immobilization, endpoint EC50, duration 48 hours in species Daphnia magna. By double-clicking on the prediction, we can see the metadata associated with prediction, such as belonging to the model domain, endpoint name, duration, name of the model and others. Now, we can generate the report. For this purpose, we need to go to the report section and click on the prediction button. The prediction wizard appears. In the first section of the wizard we can customize the information for reporting. By default all sections are selected. The other two sections contain information about the prediction and for the training set chemicals of the model. Compared to the previous toolbox version, there are newly implemented fields related to QAF in the latest version, such as input, applicability domain, reliability, and purpose of use. In addition to these fields, some of the existing fields such as model and prediction details have also been slightly modified. In the first subsection, Target and Prediction Summary, there are fields that are automatically filled in by the system such as date or chemical names. No further user input is required. There are also free text fields that require user input such as author or contact details. In the second subsection, Model Details, there are two new fields in addition to the automatically filled fields such as Model Availability and Comments on the Software. These fields can be filled with the information available in the QMRF documentation. Similarly, information from QMRF documentation associated with the domain and description of the model can be used to fill in the next free text fields such as comments on descriptors or applicability domain assessment justification or limitations on the applicability domain and others. In addition, a QSAR justification document can be generated to support the prediction report. To add this document to the report, we need to go to the Customize Report part. Select the Add Justification Document option and add the QSAR justification. 
This document has also been modified according to the QAF recommendations in the latest version of QSAR Toolbox v.4.7. This file needs to be completed manually by the user. Once the sections of the report have been filled in with information the report can be created. Congratulations! Now you are ready to learn more about the functionalities in Toolbox and how to use them. Contact QSAR Help Desk for technical questions. If your question concerns policy or regulatory acceptance of toolbox results within EU regulations of ECHA's competence, please refer to the ECHA website directly.